So it happened this morning then, uh, unless you've been in a cave for pretty much all day or you don't have internet access where you work. I'm sure you're all aware now that Justin has been relieved of his duties as manager of football club and we move on. We have no choice. Overriding emotion is mixed. Um, do I think the decision was right? Yes. Do I think the timing was right? Yes, because we have a 12 day break between games now. Disappointment comes from the fact that it could have been so much better than it's ended up, couldn't it? That first 10 months in charge were very, very good, as good as I can remember for a long time. And he allowed us to dream, um, kept us up comfortably in 2014 15, played a decent brand of football, got younger, hungrier footballers playing the game, wanting to play, got them flourishing. Um, and it's sad that it's ended like this. 2015-16, um, we bought well, we added well. Boy, did we start well. Ooh. Sheffield United at home, August 2015, one of my favourite Gillingham performances. To beat a club of that size and of that class with that budget, that well, was absolutely brilliant. Um, not just beat them, Batter them, absolutely batter them. Um, and by Christmas, we were in a title race. We were well in a title race. Um, little Gillingham, I'll get back to that a bit later. We were overachieving. I'll get back to that later as well. Um, we all know what happened from Christmas onwards. Wigan, 2 0 up, cruising, imploded. Season mirrored that last half hour after that, unfortunately, didn't it? We stumbled from 4-4-2 to 3-5-2. Teams worked us out. Um, performances declined. Results declined and declined and declined. Um, <clears throat> and come May and the final day, we lost at home to you-know-who and it was done. We'd slipped to ninth, lowest position we'd occupied all season. But it had still been a bloody good season. Let's not dress it up. Regardless of how we think of him now, we'd overachieved. Um, and then last summer, we brought in some very good footballers. Good mixture. Paul Koncheski, Jamie O'Hara, Joe Manuel Thomas, Scotty Wagstaff, Lee Martin. Uh, all footballers that Gillingham Football Club didn't try to sign. Let alone footballers that Gillingham Football Club did sign, but we did. We went to South End first day and we were very good. We won our first home league game, banished all the demons of the way it had ended the season before. Optimism had returned. Scumfort was a blip, even though we got bashed. A week after, we went to Shrewsbury, 2 0 down. Came back 1 3 2. Joe Manuel Thomas at his best. And in between them, we'd gone to Watford, Premier League Watford. Our own backyard, beat them after extra time. Tottenham, here we come. Yes. All right, the Tottenham performance weren't the best. Um, but I'm not going to sit here and dig them out for getting beat by a team that started six full internationals. Worth about 80 million between them. It's one of them. You write it off, you go. And then autumn. Ugh, autumn was horrible, wasn't it? And it just seemed that for every Shrewsbury comeback or South End away performance or Watford away performance, there was a scumfault performance. A Tottenham performance, a Wimbledon away performance, a Luton at home performance. Yeah. Scully stuck with him, backed him to turn it round, and fair play, he started trying to. And we started picking up. Northampton was a massive turning point. We went there, and then we went up, we won there, and then we went to Walsall the week after and pinched a win. Home form picked up. We were seven unbeaten until yesterday and we was actually playing a decent brand of football again. Not as well as it had been before, but it was better. Um, but yesterday was awful. Really, really awful. And I think that and the reaction at the end, coupled with Justin's recent press conferences and interviews, I think it probably made Paul Scully's mind up. Um, we can't get in the playoffs. Oh, we can get in the playoffs. We haven't got a good playing budget. Um, but yesterday, I think, was the final nail in the coffin for me. I mean, I've not, even after things like, oh, we'll get better when the injuries um, clear up. Well, 
they keep clearing up. We're now 17th, Justin. But yesterday, to come out after we'd put in that performance at home and to say that we were overachieving in 17th position, I think it done for you, mate. Sorry. But he's gone. We can't change it, whether we agree with it, disagree with it, aren't sure with it. We thank him and we move on. We say thank you for the first 10 months. We say thank you for MK Dons at home, Daki playing Deli Alley off the park. We say thank you for last year's Christmas and festive period, Swindon away, Millwall away. We say thank you for this Rosebury comeback. Thank you for Watford away. Um, but yeah, we move on. We have to, we have no choice. No one's bigger than Gillingham Football Club. So we wait to see who comes in. Up the Jills.